Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving proportionalities. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So today we are looking at a simple fraction here. We have 90 girls and 60 boys in the sixth grade middle school. And then of those, we've got nine and three that are left-handed. So we need the percentage of the sixth graders that write left-handed. Well, in order to find that percent, we're gonna need two different things. We can do that if we have the parts and if we have the whole or the total. And that's going to serve as our numerator and our denominator with our fraction. So let's see what we have here. Our part is going to be we've got nine girls and we've got three boys. How many total children do we have? Well, we've got 90 girls and we've got 60 boys. So since those match each other, we've got girls over girls, boys over boys. Let's just go ahead and collapse those and let's just drop the units because we're just looking at raw numbers here. So 9 and 3 is going to make 12. 90 and 60, that's going to make 150. So 12 out of the 150 students are left-handed. So we need to turn this into a percent. Well, there are two steps in order to turn a fraction into a percent. But once we have that fraction, getting a percent is not going to be that difficult. Step one is going to be to divide up. And when I say divide up, that means we are going to take the denominator and we're going to divide that into the numerator because that is going to give us a uh, decimal to get a, let's put a decimal right there. So let's see here. 150 divides into 12. Well, it's not going to divide into 12. That's the whole point. So that's going to give us a zero, and we are going to be able to get our decimal here. Make sure we put our decimal in our quotient bar up there, and let's add a zero. You can add as many zeros as you need. That's still not going to get us anything, though. 150 does not go into 120. So let's add another zero. There we go. So 150 is going to go into 12. Hundred and I'm just gonna guess. Let's see. That looks about eight-ish. Let's just see what eight looks like. I know that's an answer selection right there. So let's hope that's it. So that is zero. That is forty. And there we go. So that's gonna go in evenly. So one hundred fifty goes into twelve hundred eight times, and that is the end of our division problem. So we have point zero. Eight. That's what we get, 0 0.08 or 8 hundredths. Now step two is we move the decimal. And when we're going from a decimal to a percent, two times to the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this 0 0.08 and we're going to move it once. We're going to move it twice. That's how you move from a decimal to percent. And then you put a percent sign and you just end up dropping these zeros. And that is what we get, 8%. So that is going to be our answer, G. Now, how can we estimate to make sure that we're right? Well, 10%, 10 of 150. Whenever looking at 10%, guys, you always move the decimal over once. It's an easy way to divide anything by 10, is move the decimal over once. So 10% of 150 is 15. And 8% is a little bit less than 10%. And so 8 is a little bit less than 15. So that makes a little bit of sense. Now, some of these incorrect answers here. What we have is we've got 9 over 90. That's the girls and girls. That's going to get you this 10% right here. So that's where that come from. And then we've got the three boys over the 60 boys. That's actually going to equal 1 20th, which equals your 5%. That's wrong too.